Japan. The land of the rising sun, the birthplace of anime, the mecca of gaming, and the home of delicious dishes such as ramen and sushi. But there's so much more to Japan than just these common associations. Expand your horizons and make sure to check out the places we show you in this video on your next visit to Japan. Now that this mysterious country has once again opened up its borders to tourists. Welcome to our channel where we talk about all the beautiful places around the world. If you're new here, we're glad you found us. And if you're a subscriber, thank you for joining us again. Without any further ado, let's head straight into the countdown. Number one, Tokyo. Most people immediately think of Tokyo when talking about a visit to Japan, and why not? Tokyo is the largest metropolitan in the world, and as such, it has a lot for everyone. Michelin-starred restaurants, a huge range of street food choices, and an ocean of stores selling just about anything under the sun. If you could think of it, it's probably in Tokyo. Are you into anime and video games? Then you want to be in Akihabara or Nakano Broadway. Want to do a bit of shopping? Head over to Ginza. Want to explore or expand your fashion senses? Shibuya or Harajuku can help with that. There are so many places in Tokyo for tourists to visit that even spending a week or two there won't be enough. Regardless of what you decide to do, Tokyo will make sure you won't be bored. Number two, Kyoto. Kyoto was Japan's second capital city, holding that distinction for over a thousand years. It earned the nickname Eternal Ancient Capital, an honor some Kyotoites like to treasure. If you want a more peaceful vibe, while observing how modern establishments beat ancient temples, make your way to Kyoto. Even though Kyoto Station is a sprawling transport and shopping center on its own, you want to head further out to see Kyoto's temples and shrines. Fushami Inari, for example, attracts thousands of tourists annually with its 10,000 vermilion gates. It's a lovely hike up the mountain if you're up to it. But if you'd rather keep on level ground, you could walk the two kilometer Philosopher's Path in Kyoto's Hikashiyama Ward. It's lined with cherry trees, making the path a sight to behold with beautiful cherry blossoms during spring. As a bonus, the trail takes you to two of Kyoto's most famous shrines, Ginkaku-ji and Nansen-ji. Are you feeling a little hungry after visiting Kyoto's numerous temples and shrines? Head over to Nishiki Market, nicknamed Kyoto's Kitchen. With food stalls and shops lining its entire five block length, you're sure to find something to munch on and probably even some gifts for you to take home. Number three, Osaka. Wanting a bit more bustle than Kyoto, but without the crushing hustle of Tokyo, then hop on the Shinkansen for a quick bullet train ride to Osaka. As Japan's second largest metropolitan, Osaka is conveniently divided into two sections, the Kita, or Northern District, and the Manami, or Southern District. If you're going to the Kita District, you want to be in Umeda Station. This area is mainly for business offices, but it's also a good place for shopping and dining. Make sure you stop by the 568 foot tall Umeda Sky Building and make your way up to the open air observatory. But if you're after the street food and nightlife, Osaka's Manami District near Namba Station is the place to be. If you've ever heard of the running Glico Man or seen a photo of it anywhere, you can find it in Dotenbori along with other bright neon lit signs dotting the street. Feel like some shopping instead? Shinsaibashi and Amemura are waiting for you with their boutique clothing shops, cafes, and designer fashion stores. If you're looking for some gadgets to take home with you, you're sure to find something in Denden Den Town. Of course, no trip to Osaka is complete without a stop at Universal Studios or Osaka Aquarium. And if you want to reconnect with ancient Japan, Osaka Castle is waiting for you. Number four, Hakone. As part of the Fuji Hakone Izu National Park, Hakone is one of the best places to be if you want to enjoy tranquil nature, relaxing hot springs, and beautiful views of Mount Fuji. The area is dotted with multiple resorts and inns called Ryokan, so all you have to do is book a room at one of them. Once you do, you'll experience traditional Japanese tatami rooms with futon beds, 
and long-established Kaiseki Ryori cuisine that looks more like a feast. Once you're done taking a soak at a hot spring onsen, you have a few options to enjoy nature and Mount Fuji. You can go to Lake Ashinoko to admire the waters with Mount Fuji in the background, or take one of the sightseeing boat tours to see what's around. Afterward, go to nearby Togendai Station and take the Hakone Ropeway. It's a 30-minute cable car ride with breathtaking overhead views of Awakandani Valley, Lake Ashinoko, and Mount Fuji. If you have a few days to spare in Hakone and definitely want to experience what the area offers, buy a Hakone Free Pass. The pass gives you unlimited use of all transport owned by Adaku Company, along with discounted admissions to other attractions. You can even purchase a pass with a return ticket from Shinjuku Station in Tokyo for an extra fee. Number 5. Hiroshima If you do make your way down to the city of Hiroshima, your first stop should be the Hiroshima Peace Memorial Park. Spanning 29.6 acres, it was the site where the atomic bomb was dropped on the 6th of August in 1945. Make your way to the Peace Memorial Museum for a poignant exposition of life immediately after the bomb detonated. However, please remember that some displays can be quite upsetting as some of the descriptions can get quite detailed. When you're done at the museum, take a quick walk over to the A-bomb dome. Designated as an UNESCO heritage site, it is one of the few buildings that survived the blast. On a lighter note, make sure you try Hiroshima's specialty, Okonomiyaki. It's a pancake made primarily of batter, shredded cabbage, and various toppings. Any food stalls in Hiroshima's city center are more than happy to serve this delicious snack. Number 6. Nara Nara was Japan's first capital city back in the year 710, and as such, the city has some of the country's oldest shrines and temples. It's less than an hour from Kyoto or Osaka, so you can quickly go to Nara for a day trip. As a bonus, you'll get to see wild deer roaming around, getting very close to people. If you go to Nara, make sure you give Haisho Place a visit. It was the Imperial Palace and is now a UNESCO World Heritage Site. You should also see Horyuji Temple. It's one of Japan's oldest temples and has some of the world's oldest wooden structures. And then there's Todaji Temple, a Nara landmark with its giant bronze Buddha statue. Or you can go to Yoshikian Garden if you want a change of scenery. Regardless of where you go, just ensure you keep anything made of paper away from the deer. They like to eat paper items. And yes, that includes your passport. Number 7. Okinawa Are you looking for a more temperate destination surrounded by clear waters and marine wildlife? The islands of Okinawa might be what you need. When most tourists say Okinawa, they're referring to one of the three main island groups, the Okinawa Islands, and more specifically, the prefectural capital of Naha. It's also where the U.S. military bases are located, so many shops cater to the constant flow of visitors. One of your main destinations in Okinawa should be the reconstructed Shori Castle, the island's main palace back when it was known as the Ryukyu Kingdom. It suffered significant damage during World War II, and most recently sustained another fire damage in 2019. The affected parts are currently under repair, but visitors are allowed to watch the progress from a distance. Number 8. Sendai Sendai is the largest city in the Tohoku Prefecture for a northern destination. If you're coming in from Tokyo, going to Sendai gives you the opportunity to go on board the fastest Shinkansen, the E5 series Hayabusa. And once you make it up to Sendai, the city center will greet you with multiple shopping areas and tree-lined streets. Venture outside the city center to the remnants of Owaba Castle from 1600. You'll be able to view Sendai from the lookout point with the castle located 328 feet above the town. And even though there's nothing left on the grounds, the Castle Museum offers visitors a virtual reality tour showing what this place used to look like. Once you're done roaming around the castle, make your way back to the city center to try Sendai's local specialty, beef tongue. Called Gyutan, lots of Sendai restaurants grill it and serve it over rice or in a curry. The third floor of Sendai Station has an area called Gyutan Dori, dedicated to restaurants serving beef tongue. Number 9. Sapporo 
Making your way up to Sapporo might be a bit of a trek, but this major Hoikato city deserves your attention. Even though it's Japan's fifth largest city, it is also relatively young. Sapporo is a popular destination during the winter months because of its northern location. The city hosts the Sapporo Snow Festival every February, a week-long event featuring various ice and snow sculptures and numerous food stalls. There are even snow slides built for families to enjoy. If you're not there during the snow festival, you can also head to the Okurayama Observatory, home of the ski jump events during the 1972 Winter Olympics. The observatory offers spectacular views of Sapporo to visitors. Another good place to view the city from above is Mount Moiwa. Number 10, Nagasaki. The second city hit by the atomic bomb back in 1945, Nagasaki today is an often overlooked destination. It's to the west of Fukuoka, so Tokyo travelers must travel quite a distance to reach this city. If you do make it to Nagasaki, be sure you visit the Nagasaki Peace Park. Like in Hiroshima, the Peace Park is dedicated to those who lost their lives in the blast. The Black Pillar stands at the explosion's epicenter, called Hypocenter Park, while the museum and memorial hall stand nearby. On a lighter note, going up to the nearby Mount Anasa will give you beautiful aerial views of Nagasaki during the day. But if you wait until nighttime, that view changes into something magical. The city of Nagasaki lights up and you get to enjoy that spectacular 1,092.5 feet above the city. Now that you know all the top spots to visit in Japan, are you worried about how to get to these places? The JR Rail Pass is your best friend. Unless otherwise specified, the JR Rail Pass is active for 7, 14, or 21 consecutive days from the day of activation. You could use it on any JR operated trains and buses all over the country, along with the Shinkansen, Narita Express, and Tokyo Monorail. Though a bit pricey at approximately $300 for seven days, your savings will quickly pay for your pass if you're using the trains a lot. All in all, Japan has much more to offer than just these 10 places, but they're a good starting point. You need to truly appreciate each location for at least a week in each area. So which place was your favorite? Comment below. And if you enjoyed this video, you're definitely going to love this other video from our channel. Be sure to like and subscribe if you want to see more content like this. See you soon, and until then, bon voyage!